They are the monsters of the deep blue sea. Giants that keep our modern world growing. These are bulk carriers. Building a bulk carrier, keeping its cargo safe is the ultimate engineering challenge. Today, bulkers make up 40% of the world's merchant fleet and range in size from single hold mini bulkers to mammoth old ships, which are able to carry 365,000 metric tons of dead weight. To make these huge vessels safe, it takes precise engineering and super sciences. Our bulk carrier journey starts here at the Cochin Shipyard Limited, India's largest shipyard. The Cochin Shipyard was the first Indian yard to adapt to the changing business environment. Realizing the demands of the competitive market, it embarked on measures to become commercially viable. The shipbuilding and repair industry has always been a key sector in all developed and fast-growing economies as it is highly labor-intensive. Ship construction and repair requires a vast array of input, so the growth of this industry leads to a broad-based development of the economy. Realizing this, Cochin Shipyard Limited was set up as a greenfield shipyard in the year 1972. The birth of CLS's latest bulk carrier starts here in the docks ordered by a clipper group of the Bahamas. She will be named Boss Clip Trader. Construction of the bulk carrier commences with the production engineering process. The team of expert naval architects, engineers and skilled draftsmen in the Cochin shipyard produce detailed engineering drawings of the ship. CSL has an expensive steel stockyard spread across 30,000 square meters of land. These spread steel plates run through a plethora of activities before they give the shape of the sea worthy ship. First, the plates go through a mangling machine for straightening any minor distortions. Then they are subjected to short blasting and after this the steel is coated with inorganic zinc silicon primer. These plates will be sent to the next construction phase, steel cutting. The steel cutting and fabrication is done in a massive hangar. Plates are cut into various geometries by CNC and plasma arc cutting machines. Each piece is a vital part of our bulk carrier. The steel will be sent to the welding section and will be joined together and become bigger and bigger. Numerous welding methods and facilities are utilized in transforming these forms and sub-assemblies, evolving into a new generation of new carriers. 
Several blocks, those are being fabricated to stringent quality requirements very often. The ship's hull takes a complex shape, which requires plates to be formed in two or three dimensions. This 1200-ton press is employed for generating some of the most imbricate shapes that go into the ship's structure. 3D forming requires higher amount of skill, accuracy and expertise. Welding technology is the major manufacturing aid of fabrication of the ship's hull. Panels are being welded together with semi-automatic submerged arc welding machines. The bulk carrier houses have numerous piping systems that vary in type and purpose and demands for versatile technology. The pipe stock caters to all piping requirements of the vessel. Pipes are treated, bent, finished and tested at the pipe shops. State-of-the-art pipe bending machines handle pipes of various sections enable fabrication of complicated pipe pieces in the house. The pipe pieces get bent in several ways to take its final shape. These are all the various parts of the ship systems and are modeled in ship design software. Highly skilled and experienced workforce an enthusiastic managing team enables world-class quality in every detail. Shipbuilding has always been one of the most labor in Dyson's industry and as they say, a factory without a roof. Bulk Carrier Boss Clip Trader now consists of small steel sections called erection blocks. Each one is unique and specially designed for a specific part. Under the streaming sun, looking on the assembly area and the assembly shop. The shipbuilding division is equipped with numerous cranes of varying capacity and utility. Transporting these huge sections under one requires some big machines, like these specially designed flatbed trucks that can support a thousand ton of steel. Marine coating is an important phase of building long-lasting quality ship ensured by a dedicated marine coating shop and painting sections. The dock seen here is 255 meters by 43 meters of wide. Blocks are erected in accordance to the block erection plans. Once they are in position, they have to be aligned and welded together. Double bottom blocks take form initially. Running lengthwise, and gradually, the structure rises in third dimensions. As the side shells and center deck block gets erected, the vessel slowly takes shape. The erection activity in the dock is performed by a dedicated hull erection department. Continuous improvement in the assembly and erection aspects have helped the constant improvement of erection schedule and thereby in production cycle time at large. Once the dock machinery is installed and the alignment begins, piping installation progress to completion. Engine room systems 
are then arranged in various decks and it includes numerous variety of machinery. The forward end of the vessel then takes shape. In this zone, hull forms occupy complex shapes as decided by the hydrodynamics involved. The foremost block of the vessel, the bulbous bow, is being erected here. Each plate that gives a shape to the block forms three dimensions. Once the welding and inspection of the erected blocks are over, the hull exterior is blasted and then painted. The vessel takes its entire length as the utmost blocks are being erected. The stern tube which is the house of the propeller shaft gets machined to its final detail. This bulker has five holes to carry cargo, out of which one can be blasted with seawater for ballast purpose. This man, B&W main engine, is being assembled for installation on board. The superstructure of the vessel housing the accommodation and navigation bridge is now erected for installation of the main engine. The bottom section of the engine is being installed here and the top part, nearly the A-frame, follows. The rudder stock is then being lowered into position. The propeller and the rudder are now fitted. Once the engine room is completed, the accommodation part is now erected. The Palco Carrier, Boss Clip Trader, waits to be taken into the laps of sea. The dock floor has to be cleared in all respect before the dock gates are opened and the sea water let in. The Colorful Launching Ceremony Namaskaram, Vanakkam, Good Morning and Salam to Cochin Shipyard Limited the heart and soul of which is present here today. Full of passion, full of zeal and enthusiasm. It's a great day in the history of Cochin Shipyard and it's a matter of great pride to launch a big and beautiful ship several months ahead of schedule. Congratulations and Sabash! Final checks are complete. Boss Clip Trader takes into the water. The auxiliary boiler is ready for action on board. The engine room houses the main propulsion plant power plant and almost all auxiliary systems. Accomplishing commissioning targets involves meticulous planning and allocation of resources. Board accommodation houses the entire ship crew with all amenities including spacious mess rooms, galleys, laundries, gymnasium, hospital and so on. Up at the bridge, navigation, communication and the control systems are getting completed at full strength. This vessel 
is built to the standard of the American Bureau of Shipping. CSL gathers experience in installation, erection and commissioning of folding type hydraulic hatch covers, today's most popular system in Bulper. Hatch covers are tested for water tightness and weather integrity. These vessels are of the UMS category that is also known as unmanned machinery space. Advanced instrumentation and control systems that are linked to a monitoring interface enable smooth operations helping the ship engineers to maintain systems considerably easy. High level automation and technology are employed to get the best performance. The ship's galley is equipped with a state-of-the-art facility which can cater to the wearing requirement of different crew. The propulsion system is tested in every detail before the vessel leaves for sea trials. The Bass Clip Trader returns after the successful completion of sea trials. She gets a final coat of paint and finishing touch while waiting for the ship crew and the charterer. As world class bulkers carry the logo of Cochin Shipyard Limited. We never feel at sea. The ship is now taken over by the crew. The yard personnel helps out with the crew to be familiar with the new vessel. The engine room gets the cosmetic coat of paint and all electrical and control enclosures show off file polish. Bridge is equipped with the navigation system of the latest technology, autopilot for auto steering, GPS navigator, automation information systems, integrated radars and comprehensive data display, alarm monitoring, panels etc. Leaving a precious milestone of the Cochin shipyard, the Boss Clip Trader leaves for her maiden voyage with the full cargo of aluminium to China.